Disclaimer, I'm totally not trying to justify playing waifu games on this channel. This whole video is about one thing. Waifu games are essentially monster taming games. Now before I go any further, admit it guys, you have a waifu. I'm not into anime is a poor excuse considering I know you watched Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh growing up. Admitting it will make my forceful argument in this video go down much easier for you. Okay, now that you've done that, let me explain my ridiculous position. There are three types of Mon games. One, monster collecting. Two, monster battling. And three, monster raising. If you replace monster with waifu, then many waifu games already fall under this exact genre. Genshin Impact, waifu collector. Blast Blue has waifu battling elements. And Glorious Waifu vs. Nekopara. Waifu raising game. Even in waifu games where you only back one of them at a time, you're encouraged to replay them to get all of your waifus on separate runs. The biggest difference between waifu games and most Montami games is that in waifu games, their recruitment isn't slavery. They're convinced by your words alone. You generally also have to take a lot more time convincing them to join you, and this makes sense as you're not coercing them into your harem or party. The alternative to this peaceful taming method is something that most people are absolutely against, but I'm not, and it's microtransactions. We can leave out the games that replace the move Struggle Bug with Struggle Hug as well. Now the second biggest difference is that most people aren't getting turned on by monsters while playing traditional monster taming games. Nobody plays waifu games to have a platonic experience. And if your asexual friend is playing a waifu game or a game with heavy waifu elements, then you should view their sexuality with the same skepticism that AJ has of the government. Anyways, besides these two differences, I don't really see a difference between mon taming games and waifu games. Some waifus are even monsters themselves, which at least puts them in some kind of cross genre. Now is this all an elaborate setup to excuse playing a waifu game on the channel? No, because I'm no degenerate that just looks at some 2D girls dumpsters or milkers while enjoying a game. If you want to see that, then go play them yourself with games like, you know, Dead or Alive Extreme 3 or Sanron Kagura Peach Ball or Destiny Child. I'm not interested in LARPing as some loser playing a loser to get girls. Uh, yeah, well, that's all for this video. I just thought I'd make a short video trying to, you know, not justify playing a waifu game, but just saying, hey, monster taming games are... <coughs> that's all for this short video. See ya.